Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolaki, and you are watching us tomorrow news. Death toll rise to 18 in Central Nigeria flood disaster. Death toll has risen to 18 due to the floods caused by persistent rainfall in Central Nigeria, said a local official on Wednesday. Confirming the figure to reporters, head of the Niger State Emergency Management Agency in Niger's central region said eight more deaths were recorded recently. On 16th October, officials had earlier confirmed 10 deaths recorded over the past two months as the flood weakened havoc in the state. The floods were caused by a recent release of water from the Oyan Dam in Abekuta city of southwestern Ogun state, the reporter said. The floods led to hardship being experienced by the residents of some communities in Lagos as their houses and shops have been submerged by flood waters. Many of the residents of the affected area had to flee their areas, calling on government to establish drainage channels to handle floods impact in the affected regions. Many communities are affected by the release of water from a dam. Our situation is pathetic. Most people have moved out because the water entered their houses. Businesses have been paralyzed and schools have been shut down, the report quoted a local resident as saying. The Oganasan River Basin Development Authority usually releases water from a dam every three years, but this year's water is too much and lot of properties have been affected. The combined effect of the microclimate trend and the severe rainfall regime upstream of rivers Niger and Kaduna increased inflow in the basin which resulted in the spillage of water from the three hydropower dams. 2,714 houses have been destroyed so far by the disaster. The flood swept away through 20 local government areas with 152 communities submerged. The floods also badly damaged roads, bridges, culverts and other buildings, the official said. The Nigeria's Hydrological Service Agency, which is responsible for issuing flood alerts here, had since early August issued an alert for possible flooding due to the high intensity of rainfall across the country. The hydrological body said the flooding incident are due to high rainfall intensity of long duration, rainstorms, blockage of drainage system and poor urban planning resulting from the erection of structures within the footplains and underways. This year, Nigeria's 36th state and the federal capital territory Abuja would witness different levels of flooding the hydrological body predicted. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. Jit Dolakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.